What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna be talking about 10 things you may not know about the Mossberg 500 or 590. I might throw a few facts about Mossberg as a company in there as well. This is one of my most requested videos of all time. Apparently, you can't make a Remington 870 video without making a Mossberg video, so here you go. Number one. The Model 500 was designed by Carl Benson in 1960, the company's lead design engineer, and was originally intended to be a 12-gauge shotgun for the beginning hunter, but its uses quickly expanded after the shotgun was introduced. The gun was made with as few parts as possible and could be produced easily with less machining than pump shotguns of its day. It required no hand fitting, which saved on production time and costs. This translated into an extremely affordable shotgun that just about anyone can own. It also meant the shotgun was particularly robust and could take a beating in the field while still function, and if it does break, replacement parts won't cost you a kidney. Number two, the 500 was by no means the company's first shotgun. In 1955, the company began producing the 200 series, which was an innovative but odd-looking two-round magazine-fed pump-action shotgun. This didn't have the commercial success that the 500 had, but it did open the door. Number three, one feature that carried over from the 200 series is the distinctive safety located on the tang of the shotgun. On the 200, it was a tab that was flipped left to right, while on the 500, it was changed to a tab that moved forward and rearward. You could operate it with your thumb, making the shotgun inherently ambidextrous. The tang safety is my favorite safety of all shotguns because of the speed and ease of use that you are able to operate it. That being said, it does have some drawbacks depending on how you use it. If you're using a pistol grip stock, it actually is harder to use than more traditional crossbolt safeties like the safety found on a Remington 870. Number three, Mossberg remains a family owned and operated company. The CEO is A. Ivory Mossberg, the great grandson of Oscar Frederick. Speaking of the old days, one of the first firearms to carry the Mossberg name was a 22 pocket pistol known as the Brownie. It was marketed predominantly to hunters and trappers for dispatching wounded or trapped game. The Brownie launched in 1920 and carried a retail price of around $6. Adjust for inflation on that little guy, and that comes out to about $72 today. Not too bad considering it's even cheaper than the high point. Number four, a flaw of the original M500 design was its single action bar. On the earliest models, the lone action bar could occasionally bind or even break under stress while working the action. This was changed to the now familiar dual action bars in 1970, once Remington's patent on the dual action bar design expired. Even great things can be improved. Number five, the 500 is an old dog among military and police organizations, but its first foray into law enforcement came among private security companies. In 1965, Mossberg offered a 12 gauge model with a shorter barrel that was meant for police use only. The first orders on this model wound up being sold to companies that staffed armored car personnel, technically making the 500 the modern coach gun. Maybe we'll get on one of them video shows, you know, like world's craziest police chases. What do you think? What I think, Leon, is you need to stay focused and make sure you got a round in the chamber and you safety off. Would be kind of cool get on one of them shows. Number six. This one is a little controversial, but the Mossberg 590 is the only shotgun to have passed mil-spec tests on shotgun durability. Part of the MIL-SO34434D -D calls for sample shotguns to fire 3,000 rounds with a malfunction rate not to exceed 0.1%. That's three rounds. In addition, reliability of function under extreme climate conditions is also tested. Exposure to common chemicals and solvents, there were mud tests, dust tests, and cold tests. Reportedly, the only gun to have passed those is the Mossberg. Now take what you will from those tests, but it can't be a bad thing. It went 3,000 rounds with less than three malfunctions. That's about as reliable as death and taxes to me. Number seven, the Mossberg shotgun has an outstanding combat record and it's used by 13 countries around the world, including the US Navy, Army, and Marines. More than 10 million Mossberg 500 shotguns have been made since the first one was produced in 1960. They have ridden police cruisers throughout the US and in Jeeps and Humvees during the Gulf and Iraq War. They've been slung over shoulders of waterfowlers, turkey hunters, deer hunters, and they are in a consistent race for the most produced shotgun of all time with the Remington 870. Catching up quickly now, considering Remington's quality control, 
has hit an all-time low, while Mossberg's has remained the same. Number 8. The Navy actually is the reason why the 5981 has a thicker barrel profile than the standard 500. It's so when you are operating in close quarters within the confines of a ship, you don't deform the barrel or cause a malfunction by accidentally hitting it on the metal walls or doorways, basically to idiot proof them. Number 9. With consistent innovation, Mossberg has used many different barrel lengths and accessories to make many different versions of this shotgun. Seriously, there's more Mossberg accessories than your wife has shoes. Switch out some furniture from your old hunting shotgun and you can use it for self-defense, sports shooting, military, law enforcement use, or basically whatever you want. And it's so easy, even I can do it. From 30 inch barrels on hunting shotguns all the way to 14 inch barrels on the newly introduced Shockwave, a civilian legal short barreled firearm, they make a size for every application. And number 10, loading and magazine capacity has always been an issue with the Mossberg 500 or any shotgun for that matter. But Mossberg has solved those issues for 2018 with the 590M, a magazine fed shotgun that can hold up to 20 rounds of 12 gauge. I'll say that again. 20 rounds of 12 gauge, and it can be reloaded as fast as a standard semi-automatic rifle like an AK or an AR-15, provided you have enough muscles to hold up the gun. Whether you think that feature is useful or not, it's just cool to me. I hope you like these 10 facts about the Mossberg 500. It's one of my all-time favorite guns, and it has been counted on for over 50 years, and it will be counted on long into the future. I do leave a link to a local homeless shelter in the description below if you want to click on that and donate some money to them. It would be greatly appreciated. My Patreon account is also below that. You can click on that and any amount of donation will enter you into a monthly giveaway of which this month I believe I will be giving away an SE6 knife, which is a pretty awesome knife. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.